A defect in which of the following is most likely responsible for the patient's condition. A 25-year-old male presents to the clinic for a routine checkup. His medical history reveals elevated cholesterol levels, and his family history includes early onset cardiovascular disease. On physical examination, xanthomas are noted on his Achilles tendon. Which um, laboratory tests show an elevated shows an LDL cholesterol level of 220? A defect in which of the following is most likely responsible for the patient's condition? Okay. Um, so there are two conditions where there is like elevated, like super fast uh, onset cardiovascular disease, and it's like the type of like dyslipidemias or hyperlipidemias. So it's rather type two or type three. In my opinion, it's type three hyperlip hyperlipidemia. Okay. Because um, I'm seeing two answer choices that I believe are the same, like would be about like type two. So apoprotein B100 and lipoprotein lipase, I think are the same condition. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's, oh my gosh, I forgot. Um, man, I don't remember. But okay, I have LDL cholesterols are super high. I think that's high. Um, and yeah, that's going to be high. Man, it's to me, it's just. What does your gut say? My gut is now saying that lipoprotein lipase is the first lipidemia and that ApoB100 would be the right answer. That's what my, that's what my gut is saying now. Okay. I just forgot. I forgot these after review review. Okay. You want to keep it or change it here? Ah. Uh... I don't have a great reason, but I just think I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what do you want to change your gut answer choice? If you think you're wrong, then that's a, that's probably not your gut answer choice then, huh? Yeah. I guess my gut answer choice would be LDL receptor. Okay. You want to keep that or change it now? I'll keep that one. That was the kind of one I think it's going to be, but. Yep. Oh, let's it, go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I'm pretty sure, um, apoprotein B hundred is the same as, uh, like lipoprotein lipase. It kind of very similar. Um, and kind of mechanism, right? Mm -hmm. So LDL receptor, if you think about it, the best way is um, you have to ask yourself, what does LDL receptor do? It uptakes LDL and gets it out of the blood. So if this receptor is not working, your LDL is going to get stuck floating in the blood. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes complete sense. Yeah, because I'll, exactly. Yeah. So let's see here. Like, so remember, uh, lipoprotein lipase, it has elevation of everything, right? It has chylomicrons, triglycerides, right? LDL. So it has a lot of things. And then apoprotein B, necessary interaction, a probably lead to familial defect B, which also was in the question, but less common than familial type. So I guess this one also actually is very similar actually to LDL receptor. So both of these seem like very common, but um, it's less common than the, um, than the familial um, hypercholesterolemia, which is an LDL receptor. This is way more common. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. All That's right. good to know. I'm glad I changed my answer last second.